Hello and welcome to the fourth week of your journey to a smoke-free life. How was last week? I'm sure you're feeling much more rested and at peace. This confidence comes from the evidence-based results of our clinically tested natural tablets and the scientifically proven impact of mindfulness in overcoming the smoking habit. Just remember to take your daily dose of tablets twice a day so that you can continue to see the benefits of this. Last week, we did a 10-minute body scan exercise with you to really make you pay attention to what's happening in different parts of your body. This exercise will be beneficial when you start to feel a craving in your body. It will help you recognize the feeling and gradually develop the ability to say no. Let's do a quick body scan exercise to remind ourselves of how to do that. So find a comfortable place as you get ready to pay attention to your body. Relax. Take three deep breaths. Focus your attention on your head and neck region and release the tension. Feel that all the muscles and skin in the head and neck region are relaxed. Then guide your attention to your shoulders. You may notice a lot of tension on the shoulders. Just relax them. Now focus on the arms and just relax the arm muscles. Loosen the chest area. Feel the relaxed free movement of the chest muscles as you breathe in and out. Let your belly fall out. Just loosen the muscles in the stomach. Keep the backbone erect while you release the tension. Pay attention to your hips, thighs and relax the muscles there. One by one, look at your legs from your thighs, knees, calves until the 10 digits of your fingers and just release the tension and relax the legs. Now look at your entire body from head to toe and release the tension if any. If in any part of the body you feel the tension, then imagine that you are breathing in that part and make it supple. Now, concentrate on your breath. Feel the relaxed breathing body. Be with that state. Now that you have a way to understand what's happening in your body as the cravings arise, let's also explore what's happening in the other location where your habit is formed. Your brain. Let's watch a short story to figure out what's going on in that brain of yours. Radha was a florist and Shanta was a fisherwoman. Both used to meet at a weekly market where they sold fish and flowers. They were good friends. On one such market day, it suddenly rained very heavily in the evening. Radha stayed in the same village. But Shanta used to come from a nearby village. 
Shanta knew that due to the heavy rains, it was almost impossible to go home. Radha said, Shanta, don't worry. You come to my house, stay with me for the night and go home in the morning as the weather improves. After a long day, both came to Radha's home and Radha prepared a nice dinner. After dinner, both the friends talked with each other and then retired to bed. Radha arranged their beds in the room where all the flowers were kept. The room had the pleasant fragrance of flowers. Shanta was not getting any sleep and was continuously tossing and turning. She thought for a while, got up and brought the basket in which she carried the fish to be sold. She kept that basket near her head and sprinkled some water on it. It gave that typical smell of fish. Shanta said to herself, Yes, now it feels good. Now I will be able to sleep. What did you think about the ending of the story? I'm sure you noticed how the fisherwoman could not sleep without the fishy smell, despite being surrounded by the fragrance of flowers. This is what is called as habit formation. The fisherwoman was so habituated to the smell of fish that she could not do something as natural and simple as sleeping without that smell. When it comes to smoking, your brain is also conditioned in the same way. It tells you that you won't be able to deal with stress if you don't smoke. Want to know what actually goes on in your brain when you smoke? And how we plan to change that habit? Let's watch this video about understanding your addiction. So, you've been smoking for a while now. And it almost seems like second nature. But it's not. It is a strong habit that you formed over time. This habit is hard to quit if you don't understand the habit itself. The smoking habit has two components, nicotine craving and psychological dependency. Let's understand nicotine craving first. The brain is made up of nerve cells called neurons. And like a WhatsApp message, these neurons communicate with each other via brain messengers called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters are received by receptor sites on the neuron. Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter which makes you feel good. It makes you feel satisfied and rewarded, just like you feel when you eat chocolates, hang out with friends or listen to music. Cigarette contains a powerful addictive chemical called nicotine. Nicotine hijacks the natural production of dopamine by attaching itself to the receptors. This gives a shortcut dopamine rush that makes you feel good. However, this dopamine rush is very short-lived, making you want to smoke again and again. And boom, the habit is formed. Now you must be wondering how this habit gets so strong. Usually, you pair your smoking with certain activities, places or people. For example, smoking with a cup of tea, smoking when you're stressed or smoking with your friends. Any of these situations form a strong association with smoking. So, the next time you engage in any of these, they become a cue for you to crave a cigarette. This is the habit loop formation. But here's the good news. Our brains have the capacity to change if we want it to. As one habit loop is learned, our brain has the capacity to unlearn the same while learning newer and healthier habit loops. Think of a habit loop like a pathway 
you have created by walking on it again and again. Now, to learn a new habit, you have to make a new pathway in your brain. This capacity of changing the pathway in your brain and thereby changing your habit is called neuroplasticity. We will use this ability of the brain to change your smoking habit and transform you into a non-smoker. The Smotect Quit Smoking program uses the scientifically proven mindfulness-based cognitive behavior therapy to help you to overcome your smoking addiction. Mindfulness-based cognitive behavior therapy, MBCT, allows you to stay in the present and help you investigate your thoughts and feelings. It paves a path to quitting smoking and finally leads to a beautiful, smoke-free life for you. So now you know how the habit loop makes your brain behave in one way and how it's possible to unlearn that and relearn new habits through our mindfulness exercises. This will transform you from a smoker to a non-smoker. Think of the craving for cigarettes as a tantrum-throwing baby wanting an ice cream. If you give in to it, the child continues to crave for it. But once you start ignoring the baby, over time, a new habit will be formed. In exactly the same way, you can overcome your smoking habit. When you accept that you're feeling a craving, stop feeding it. As you build your mind's muscle, you will be able to rewire your brain and that will empower you to break your old habit loops and form new ones. For the next seven days, just continue practicing the body scan exercise for 10 to 12 minutes each day to enhance the understanding of cravings. Apply rain whenever you face the cravings. And if you have to smoke, smoke each cigarette mindfully. Enter them in the progress card we have given you to keep yourself accountable. If you need any assistance or have queries, you can schedule a call with the Smotech counselors through our website or connect with us on our Facebook community page. Until then, stay aware, stay on track. I'll see you next week.